Hello everyone and welcome back to Silver and Forest. How we have been very busy. I see mine's gone down quite a bit. I'm just gonna pull over here a sec and I'm just gonna explain why what we've been doing off camera. Because not only we've got a full no well I won't say a full, but most of it's it's just bits of leftover trees. Yes, we did Tension cuts on finding your logs, but most of this has come from trees because if we go over here, we have been busy and we have cut down a lot of this little section here. And the main reason for this is, of course, to get the iron furnace. That's going to cost us 180 grand. However, we've been Doing some bits off camera, we experimented with one of the logging traders that we bought. This is still on this. We will be buying this because I did buy this and I bought it under assumption it's going to sort of like auto shift logs, apparently part of the plant DLC. This is the Schwartz Moore Timber Trader semi. But nope. And also, we got this auto load. Uh, containers and six meter logs, and they are filled to the brim. But you know what? Let's put you on there. So, yes, also, we did buy a little transport trailer. We transported this little Kamat suit for example. We have been using it a bit, we have been given permission by the shop to use this as of where we need it just because we are brewing. Pretty much helping our community, we're going to be real big on the road coaster and all sorts of other things. So, lots of things stacked up. We have got no planks there, that's because I want to show you now off camera what we've done is some little work that we've been doing. So, put you some clips and then we'll resume with the rest of the episode here. As you can see, we have been busy with quite a little bit of exploits, I'm not too sure, but pretty much we can get three planks, we're not, re not doing planks anymore. No, 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 so are we not? But what we are doing, wrong settings, let's go down to here, go down to our old sawmill, so we're not doing planks. And we're going to keep on doing long planks with beams and prefabricated walls. Now down at the wood turner, we're going to be doing staircase railings. And we have not quite got a single pallet yet. But what we're going to do is drop off some timber. So that's got 7,000 years of wood and that's going to last us 
2400 years of wood so just for doing staircase railings that's good for about two and a bit almost three months so two and a half months so that's going to be into December over winter so that is good for us for now we're just going to drop you here for now we will be using you again actually I need to take you up to the old sauna actually because I want to get things sewed up and sold. Well, not so much sold, but given to the road coaster because we are going to start doing a lot of projects on that. There goes the train. Pretty much, in terms with planks, we gave as much plank today. Again, work on the ground first. That's going to be our goal for this episode. So we've got some wood that we need to sell. Some wood for the sawmill so yep this is to be sold this goes to the sawmill and this initially I was going to go to get some floor tiles bits in this however yeah we ended up buying the yard and yeah see we've yeah all the planks are there so yeah for both funny enough for the road coaster and the boat yard it would not take any more planks so I'm assuming this is all it needs for now. I know for the road coaster it could need far more than well I'm assuming it needs far more because if we go to no not you, go to the road coaster. We've got pretty much twenty thousand years of planks in and I guess it needs four thousand years of planks for this st step. However, there are three main stages. But each of them have little steps, if if you see what I mean. So if we go, oh, I'm just going to go on here, go to the blog post, get the construction projects bit up, and yeah. So for steps one to four in the sixty thousand years in total of wood beams, boards, planks, metal floor tiles and staircase railing. Metal, we are to start be doing that today. And then for steps five, which is just one step, it's wood beams, board, staircase railings, chairs, tables, shingles, barrels and buckets. So, you see, yeah, there ain't that much going to the road coaster at the moment. It is pretty, but yeah, there's like literally nothing left. It's once upon a time, apparently according to forever by the locals, in the early days, throughout the 70s and 80s, this used to be a thriving area. However, time with the sort of, oh, see, what's it? The coming of more products from overseas, a lot of the economy tanked, so Roker's got pretty much a lot of the areas got left abandoned. That's why over the years for coaster here at Silver Run has been really been overtaken by vandals, but now we are here to revitalize the road coaster and also at the same time make a couple of boats so we can go sailing or perhaps sell them. I think you know what we'll sell the boats rather than go sailing, if you know what I mean. But yeah, we got still have forty eight thousand years of planks and we are gonna need that at the floor tile factory which is here however how much do we need here we got 27 grand however also we still got 100 grand loan to pay off so yeah that's going to be 100 furniture to get chairs and tables so yeah it's gonna be a long journey before we get that road coaster back up and running. But anyways, if we go into here, because we were go going to the Volvo, uh, we were just taking a little break from some citrus splash and come across a collectible. I ain't gonna look for these collectibles, but if I see more fun going around places, because I was looking at the paper factory here, and there is one just on the roof here. So I didn't 
think we need paper. Actually, do we need paper for the... Actually, fucking check here. So what's also the thing up here? Paper factory, no. It's just... No. No, it's not part of any other production. Just needs wood for this. But, anywho. We go down here. Scroll. That's four we found now. And 16 more to go. So yes, it's Volvo. We are taking this temporarily up here to the mine. And we are going to get that trailer that we've got. It's a 300,000 capacity trailer. So we're going to get that filled up with some iron ore. And yeah, from there, just with the timber that we've got in the containers, we should get about. I don't know, around about 100, between up towards 160, 120 grand is roughly what I'm going to get here, so that's going to be enough for the iron furnace. However, to do that, we do need to clear up the area that we have been logging. We need to get rid of all the stumps and then little bushes and all that. So it's going to be a long works way, but. Yeah, that's what I sort of lose to in the last episode, which was a couple of days ago of recording it. I am recording this as of the 29th of November. Episode 1's just gone out after having some issues with just YouTube and that, then... How things... Oh, no, wrong way. Turn around. But yeah, how things are, short weekends for me at, at the moment. Just not able to get recording done, just because of personal stuff. So, yeah, so what I do on the weekends, Friday nights, part of motorcycle club, so, yeah. Uh, before anyone asked, no, it ain't nothing like Sons of Anarchy and all that. Yeah, it's family friendly, but yeah, we enjoy each other's company, have a few drinks and that, so, yeah. Being seen for, I'm trying to think what now about. I'm just going first of all. So we could have this T1 up, but we'll go up here. But yeah, been in the scene for a couple, two clubs over that time. Rejoined the first club for ex private reasons, but it's one of the things. It is what it is. In the past, can't do on the past. You just cannot really. So, so yeah, rejoined as a prospect. Ah, uh, yeah, just loving life, loving the bike roads. Aussie, yeah, at the moment it is the end of bike season, so ain't much events all. But in New Year from uh, March. And that's where you get all like all the rallies and that, just going on trips and that's well with friends who the club as well. So yeah, it's gonna be really exciting times for that next year. But yeah, that's sort of why also just haven't really been able to do much, just life gets in the way. Not as a bad thing, it's just one of the things. Different things happen, different things occur. But what I am trying to do with my work life during the week is when I'm not working, i.e. not in the evenings, I will get videos recorded and if I can get videos done over say two or three days for the week so I can have videos on bank, ready to go. I think with the whole with the whole editing process with my RTX 3080 Ti I have to back in the 4090. I don't need it, so I'm not gonna get it yet. I am I'm not a big time YouTuber, so don't really need it. But with my free ATI. Just get things a lot done quicker and that it gets quick enough about good old two hours of editing, uploading all that stuff. But again, a lot of it does depend on YouTube. But yeah, we sort of stopped here because this is a part of the mine shaft. But the actual shaft itself is at the top. It goes all the way down there. Because just imagine back in the day, where they mine, you know, assuming they, they were metals and that. Perhaps one of the in the early 1900s, maybe doing a bit of gold mining. But 
regardless of where it is, we'll just say iron that all like metal mining, so... But yeah, oof. Come on now. <laughs> Thank you very much, we will take you. We found the bear sculpture, so... Actually, what was the intention of looking at? But yeah, just like old equipment, but... You know what? That extra 50 grand is going to come really handy for us. So yeah, all I want to do now is just jump cut this ass a little bit whilst we get to the top of here, sort of see the mine shaft there. And then we will go from there, I think. Here we are, short, well, short jump cut later. Here we are, at the iron furnace. We do have access and able to use it as long as we get proper permission from the landowner, which we do at Iron Peaks Mining Company. So yeah, they have him produce a metal, or oh, iron ore, shall I say, sorry. So obviously, this is still an active mine. But, I'm guessing, restricted area, so I'm guessing it's like a, I'm not sure what they do, is it drain down? I'm assuming so, just because of all the drills. Whilst we're here, let's go look for another collectible. See if there's a collectible up here. Or at least not, just to take taking the view, because I am... I am quite interested by this, actually, so... Go up. A few more flights of stairs. Okay, no collectibles, I don't think. Oh, go up another float or two stairs. So, that is a bit of an old cable. Oh no, so actually, no, this is just an elevator, so. I'm guessing where, where it was closed all the way, we got the bear sculpture. It's an elevator, that right? is, so. Well, that is good to know. But anyways, back into the Volvo. And uh, yeah, from what I've heard, like, this old Volvo BM... What's it, are the old Volvo BMs? They are, pretty much, so... A little speed here. Got a capacity of a thousand litres. And for the other piece of equipment, I'm not too sure. So if you have a look, go down to here. Where is it? Two. It's got a 5.4 thousand litre capacity. So 5,400 litres. Meanwhile, we've got a bucket here. That's got a capacity of 10,000 litres. But yep, but next we need to trade for that, so... Actually, oh, what should we do here? I think, you know what, let's go do a quick time lapse here. We're going to get the lumber sold, get the containers, so yeah, get the containers sold, lumber up to someone else, and they'll come back down, grab the trader, the tipper, and get some metal, I think.
So that will go about 135 grand, 135 grand for the containers. Without a little disaster that did cost us 10 grand though. 10 grand, someone's come out in their little JCB wheel loader to get us recovered, so. I would say preventable mistake, that was an easy mistake that could have been prevented. But you know what, it's just one of those things, it's what it is, just, it happens. So yeah, I know this holds 300,000 years, and I think we will go to the maximum capacity, because what we can do is get zoned up. Actually. In theory, should some of these silos. So I'm not sure if any of the mod silos will accept. Yes, we asking, will it? I'm sure. Would the base game? No, will it not? I don't think the base game would. Yeah, I think Trash and I'll finally get a little pit or something. If we can get a pit or even manufacture ourselves our own little pits. Just somewhere we can store the excess iron ore. And perhaps as we go wheel loader. The little baby compared to the big daddy here. It's like this, yeah, we have yes I'm gonna we a lot of this is leased, well, actually all of it is leased, all the stuff we see here. We don't own it, so it's costing us money to use it. However, sometimes, as I in business, you've got to speculate to accumulate. And we're putting tens of thousands of pounds in. Just to, yeah. Get what we need to get going. It's still going to be a very long process, I see you've already mentioned about getting everything for the road coaster and the sailboats. To be honest, I think this is going to be a very good start for us. So, yeah, so during the time, I did sort of tour my not to stop or continue with the prefab walls. I am going to continue with them for now. We do you have contracts we're going to do off camera in between episodes? But yeah, prefab walls, I still keep on doing those. And now the sawmill is up to 85. Thousand liters, so that is quite a bit. So, surely, how should we be able to empty this pile? I'm sure not too sure. Well, yeah, you know what? I'll just keep on continuing this for a few more moments. And I'll see you folks back when we're done here. And when we take this trailer back down and get the iron furnace in. It's time to make some metal. Some rocking, rolling, and metal making, I think. Alright then, so we got done, we should be seeing... Ooh, bang on cue! We've got just shy of a hundred thousand years of iron ore on there, so that is more than enough what we need for now. Since this structure does not have a front three-point hitch... Oh, actually, you know what? Mm. Yeah, too bad. I'm just going to leave the trash, just so I have something with a front three point. Yeah, I think so. Actually. I'm sure we'll keep, we'll keep the Volvo for now. I think we'll keep the Volvo just. 63 grand. Is there any tractors in the second hand market? Oh, there is. The Deutz Far Series 8. TTV. That is a handy little thing. 
But I still think we're just going to do that quite yet. But what will we do is... We'll start a little Volvo. Um, forestry trailer, just because it's... Yeah, it wasn't worth it. And with that money, we will get a little tractor. A little medium one, I think. 120 grand. We won't go with that on this series hall. Actually, no, we may do, may not, I'm not too sure. But a nice little Kubota. Twin wheels. There we go. Seven grand for a little bit of work. Because use the Volvo and a bit of effort, possibly yes, but let's get later on in the day. And I've got that over. Come on, fetch. Let's go and get the little devour. There we go. So yeah, we did transport a couple of little more trees over to the... Oh, uh, which one was the production called? Wood Turner. Uh, yep, we'll say we're done with you. Rock removal down there, so what we'll do... Let's get a worker cell net. Yes. Get a worker say go to there. So go to there. That's gonna get cracking on. So what's that's going over there? Get you hooked up. And I think you're putting Iris Furnace literally somewhere right down here. Oh, the wind shoes in the way. says on full pipe. There we go. So if there's any sumps like these, it should be just... That's it. Sumps are gone. Just like so. Hopefully it doesn't take us too long to get all this done. I don't think we have to jam with the city, I think. I don't think we'll bother too much at time. But we'll go and replant some trees at some point. We just need to chop down a lot of trees at the moment to get all the production stuff underway. So to be sure, we will. There we go. We will go out and plant these trees because so far we have cut down how many trees? 155. Since the start of the series, a lot of it has been this afternoon whilst we go and record this episode and for pre recording stuff. Not pre recording, do some off camera work, but. I am hopeful of how this should go, so we are, yeah, that sudden drop in light ain't a good sign for us. I'm trying to just 
just get any other little bits, any stumps, a couple over here. There we go, that's you gone. That is you gone. And I think that's pretty much it, I think. Yeah, I know we could make profit from these trees, but all that. But things like, especially the dead one, they ain't really worth it. Which, you know, they're not really worth it. But yeah, I'm happy with that. Got enough open space, so. Figuring out should be fine. So I think what we'll do is go over here, go to factories, go look for the iron furnace. It says it's overlapping with an object, so not gonna do. I'm just going to get, say, gravel. Get all this painted so that we can see if there's any bits like stumps left over. Okay, there's one stump there. Also, yeah, we can read. Actually, 180 grand. Uh, if we get one, if we're able to find like one more collectible around here, then perhaps we should have enough for. Both the floor and tiles, and yeah, for both floor and tiles and the metal or that, or for the iron furnace. Now, let's try it again. Iron Furnace. It says it's colliding with another object, but I can't see what object it's colliding with. But thankfully, it's this form is number 22, so... Hopefully this ain't going to screw it up too much. Actually, just I'm looking at some of these other factories whilst I'm here. Not too bad prices. But yeah, Iron Furnace. So, where, yeah, we want... To ask me something, want something like that. I'm missing it. We're kind of quite close to the train line, but we will be fine. So, yeah, the ore goes into there, the metal comes out of here, and happy days for that. So. Like, this guy is. I'll still take some time to refill it up, so. Oh, can Since we've actually taken the Onis, we can't hire workers. Interesting. But yeah, here comes the train. Does is oh, not does is does this actually hit? In 
very, it shouldn't, but if it does, it's going to be a very chaotic and expensive. Okay, here comes the train. How close does this cut this? Hear the train come in. Match come up where you just finished work and you see that coming along. But anywho, we are good. So we'll go and get some metal underway. Well, not some metal, some iron ore underway. Not sure how much this is going to take. But I'm saying yes, we're leasing all this equipment, but for all next year, I want to stop leasing equipment and I just want to start, you know, owning stuff. So, I think, yeah, a couple more months. So that is for 60,000 liters. And that's going to last us, what, so, a month will be 4,160, times up by 2, 8,000, eight thousand ish let's just say, plus another, so 9,600, so that's going to last us a good... Yeah, I think what we've got here is going to last us a good half a year, so... I'm just going to unload this into one big old pile. There we go. I am happy with that. Um, before we sort of skip off overnight, I am going to find one more collectible. I've heard there's one literally around here somewhere, around this little area. I'm not too sure. This little bit by the train station. I'm not too sure. Where is it to? Oh, what's this? It's a rat. <laughs> no, <laughs> sorry. It's a rat. No, that is a hedgehog, sir. So, yeah, you know what? That is going to do us very good to round off the episode here because what we can do is get all this timber. And finally, we can get all the materials we pretty much need for the time being for the road coaster started. As long as we don't tip the trailer on the way. So the flooring is not this one here, it's across the road. Yes, we still got 100 grand, to pay, 100 grand loan to pay off. We will pay that again by in the year. We have returned a couple pieces of equipment that we have borrowed, such as Oh, they need planks and long planks, not wood. What do they think they need the timber? Actually wait, do we have long planks? Yes, we've got long planks working. And we've got them set to distributing to between yeah, the flooring factory and that. Actually this could go into the wood turner actually, heck it yeah. Sawmill is going to be good for the time being. Because planks technically we don't need to buy any, we've got a little free supplies worth of planks. How long that's going to last, I do not know. 
However, we still have like 40,000 years of timber, not timber, planks, so... I think what we'll do is we'll get it dropped off, get it to your decks, go get a little trader. And yeah, we'll see how this works out for us. Well, perfectly, TLX is just right along here, so... That is a lot of timber. For some reason it's not accepting all of it. Not too sure why. That's a lot of this, surely. Not too sure, you know what? I'm just going to leave that there. Because we are around in time, I have been sort of just waffling. And they're just randomly doing bits. And we do have our first staircase rating, that is good. Just down here. There we go. Not sure if it's going to take all the planks or some of it or what. But it'd be good to find out and see. So, first of all, can we sell any more planks? A little bit, but not a lot. So that's fine, we'll put the rest into your. There we go, we are overloading. And that is no more space for plank, so. That is that. Uh, what I'm just going to do now is skip ahead overnight. Go back up to the main farm. There we go. Get some well earned sleep. And yes, I'm just excited to see everything. All had a bit of rain overnight. Not too worrying. Oh, a crisp winter morning. Nothing really good in the used market. Dang it, we should have returned that Kabuto. Well, we'll keep it for the day. We'll make sure we return it. But, I'm not too sure you saw there. Go over here and see. We have got a lot of stuff already, so I, I am super excited about about floor tiles. Where do they come out to? Oh, how much metal we've got already? One, two, three, four, five, so yeah, we are underway to finally start rebuilding that road coaster, doing bits in the boatyard, and just in general, expanding our farming empire, or our forestry empire, should I say. I think it's not all forestry, a lot of it is construction base and forestry base. We will go into some arable farm at some point, but for now, yeah, that's just not where we're needed. Planting oats, some deadwood contracts. 
So yeah, on that note, that is where we are going to leave it today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If so, feel free to smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share this, then please be my guest. But for you choose to do, thanks for watching. But for now, this is me for my other stream. Uh, I'll see you all very soon in the next episode. Uh, so you're actually going to the wrong side of the road here.